during the boom, a lot of folks ran a simple strategy that worked until rates exploded. The idea of a carry trade. And I call this, actually Ben Rabidou came up with this term, it's called the Canadian carry trade. And a carry trade is just borrowing money at one interest rate and then relending it at a higher rate. And this is how people did it in Canada, much to their detriment. Although many people won with this strategy for the last 20 years. So step one is in 2020 to 2022, you borrow money against your house or your investment property on a variable rate HELOC at very low rates. Step two, you lend this money out as a private mortgage at 12% interest rate, probably plus or 2% lender fee, getting you to probably 14%. At 2% is origination fee, maybe private lender, broker fee, whatever. So you end up capturing like a 7% plus spread. You're making 7% per year, roughly, let's say for a year. So on 300 grand, that's $21,000 before fees and taxes. Then the shock cap rates jump up 50% as the Bank of Canada hikes. Your spread shrinks from 7% to 2 or 3% or even worse after legal costs, vacancies and non-paying borrowers. And step Six is the borrower can't refinance out of the private loan in a down market and they miss payments. And then the final piece is your private loan goes delinquent and you take this power of sale. And this is an especially bad position to be in if you also did that loan in 2021 or 2022 on a value that was really, really hot. Because not only are they missing your payment, the loan is probably also equity negative, which means that you're at risk of losing principal as a lender. So even if they recover nothing, they still owe the HELOC or mortgage on their house against their own home. And this is how damage spreads back to primary residents or investment properties and how it becomes economically contagious across the entire housing market and why this matters beyond a handful of speculative borrowers, because 66% of those loans are people who have exposure to other real estate.